African women and girls are many things. Ndifalimi, walim, mothers, business ladies, and we are leaders. Statistics in Africa show close to 80% of our people live in the rural areas. Being seen as rural is often seen as either illiterate, you know, uneducated. It's sad that this has also shaped the way policies is being formulated and designed. Nobody can talk about our issue. We know it, we live with it, we feel it. We cannot continue talking on behalf of rural women. Like our people, we said, you can't shave my head when I'm not there. always given the privilege to decide on behalf of women. When I should get married. When to get into a sexual relationship. When should they even have children. When to get pregnant. Major barrier is information that they do not know that they have a right to make decisions over their own bodies. Assessing SRHRO services is a huge challenge. So for the women, to be trained how they can do family planning. You need to walk six to nine kilometers to find a hefe service. You also have to change the mindset of also the healthcare providers because they are a bit stigmatizing to the young women and these young women shrink and not even talk about their reproductive health. Family planning is very important for Lulu women because it helps them to have time to look after their children and also to participate in decision-making bodies at the Lulu community. Governments are not allocating resources. Money is going to somewhere else. Of course, agriculture is important, but you can have agriculture, but if you don't have healthy people, who is going to work in the fields? Unpaid care work is the work that especially women do that is not paid for. So somebody has to take care of old people, someone has to collect firewood, someone has to fetch water. We continue doing that work as women, but nobody recognizes that. Unpaid care work has been compared to the GDP of France annually for Africa. A woman doesn't have time to list. She doesn't even have time to participate in decision making or development at the Lulu area. If governments acknowledge and recognize and quantify unpaid care work in Africa, it means that this money could be used to pay for vital resources that could provide care work, that could take care of old people, for example, that could bring water sources and electricity sources closer to people's homes, meaning that women are not spending hours on end going to look for water, going to look for firewood to cook. And so it, it, it begins to bridge that gap. For the majority of Africans and women, land is a source of identity. When the extractive came to our area, there was no compensation to rural women for their land. People are looking at profits. How much money can be made out of this? The women are just used to, to dig, but hand over, and at the processing level, they are not even there. A lot of the time, people are extracting in Africa and are not paying their fair share of tax on the continent and they're moving profits outside of the continent. If we did curb flows out, out of our continent, it means that this money could be used to finance services that we so badly need. Being born in a rural area, brought up there, lived there, and stayed there up till today. The only you know, job you can do without anybody stopping you is to farm. Notre coutume uh, ne reconnaît pas les mêmes droits à l'homme et à la femme. Et la femme est même objet à être possédée par son mari, sa famille. Donc, du coup, on ne reconnaît pas le sujet de pouvoir hériter, de pouvoir acheter, de pouvoir poser des actes juridiques. Why should a man be entitled to inherit land and we have the same life, I'm not entitled to inherit land? Elles peuvent articuler mieux ce qu'elles vivent. 
Les autres ne peuvent que parler en leur nom et peuvent ne pas porter le, leur revendication exactement. Donc, il faut qu'elles soient là pour parler et qu'on qu puisse les écouter. Wakati hii mrati ilikuja kaangalia ikaniambia hivi hii shamba yako Angelina unaweza fanya irrigation sasa ni akili kanza hii kumbe wakati kuna kaa kungumu ndio mimi napanda mahindi napanda nyanya napanda sukuma na nyunyisi ya maji na ninafuna na ninapeleka sokoni na ninauza nilisomesha watoto bila shida hao oh, wa kwanza watatu ndio walisoma na shida lakini hao wawili wa nyuma hao walisoma na hao ndio wameenda university just imagine kama government inaweza sasa hizi vikundi ya wamama wawaweke katika budget yao wasapotiwe eh saudi ya wamama wa mashinani isikike maana tunajua kuna wamama wanaweza fanya You live in object poverty, it means your generation will continue to be in poverty. But if our voice is heard, we'll be empowered and we'll move from that level to another level. We have the indigenous ideas, we have the first-hand experience, we have the knowledge to actually change policies and inform policy makers. People sit down to plan and take decisions on our behalf. We don't want it. We should be considered, we should be involved, and we should be part of it. It still remains very relevant and important that we organize rural women to come together and meet those that have done well, those that are still trading, to, to understand how the world is moving and how they can also get involved in changing their own lives. <laughs>